From his cultural background to his education and experience, Joe Biden claims to have lived and witnessed it all. He said more than nine lives. Uh, but did he really? Will? Yeah. So, in fact, this week he told Howard Stern that he was arrested during the civil rights movement off of the front porch. No record of that arrest. Oh, no. huh. So let's add that to the long <laughs> growing list of Biden's fictional resume. And let's go off the wall to see if we can keep track of everything about Joe Biden. I mean, the resume is getting long from his ethnic background to his educational achievements to Trump his driver. blue collar work. Trump, Trump. And this one right here, I mean, his uncle probably eaten by cannibals. We're going to get into what the Pentagon said about that. I mean, if, if right. that happened, it would certainly be in the Pentagon report, World War II. Let's start with his ethnic background. I think at this point, he's claimed Italian, Puerto Rican, Greek, Greek. Irish, Jewish, Catholic heritage. And, and raised in the black church, right? by the way. Watch this. I got my education for real in the black church. And that's not hyperbole, it's a fact. I uh, was sort of raised uh, in the Puerto Rican community at home. He <laughs> said that he has gone by Bidenopolis. Yes. People referred to him as Bidenopolis because he's so because Greek. He's so Greek. Um, he was simultaneously raised in the black church and the Puerto Rican community. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, in Scranton. Right. Okay. He's also claimed affiliation and relationship with both the Italian community and the Jewish community. Not hyperbole. Anytime someone tells you not hyperbole, it's folks, a fact. just a fact. Right. You ought to believe him. Uh, here's, I think, what we believe the fact primarily is. Primarily associated with his Irish roots. Which is what he you, also calls out is, hey, I'm Irish. Right. So he can be whatever he needs to be on any given day. It's a, a good pandering politician knows how to peddle a line. It's just when you're the president of the United States and you claim six or seven different lineages, Maybe we should call that into question. All right, let's go now from his background. We're uh, staying on background, just a different type. Well, this is, whenever he says true story, he says, you know, <laughs> he says, if he says true story, also your, your antennas need to go up. Because true story about his uncle, one could call it fantastical. Mm-hmm. Got shot down in New Guinea. And uh, they never found the body because there used to be there were a lot of cannibals for real in that part of New Guinea. Real. <laughs> for real. It's always followed by a for real or it's true or I'm not joking right. or I'm not. It's not hyperbole. So Biden's account is that his uncle, who was a World War Two, was part of a World War Two crew shot down, of course, not supported by any military uh, reports or records. The Pentagon doesn't mention anything about cannibals, nor is there any evidence suggesting it. So maybe it was family myth and family lore. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Finnegan is his uncle's last name. Shot down. Was shot down. Hero. Pentagon says over the ocean, uh, no evidence of anything to do with cannibals. And this has put us a little bit at odds with New Guinea. <laughs> they took a little exception yeah, New, New Guinea has not liked this. By the way, on a serious note, he said similar things about his son, Bo Biden, who he said was killed in Iraq, who he was not. He was Tragically lost his life in another way, but on the military, he's been loose with things for right. a while. All right, let's. I think we're moving to his education now. Um, Joe Biden has uh, quite the academic record, according to <laughs> Joe Biden. I think I probably have a much higher IQ than you do, I suspect. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship and, in fact, ended up in the top half of my class. I won the international moot court competition, and I'd be delighted to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, Frank. How does how does Joe Biden today have more hair than Joe Biden in 1988? <laughs> That's a, I don't know. It's magic. Uh, that is he thinks a lot of himself in his academic, academic scholarship, record. academic, full yeah. academic scholarship. OK. And he was very clear. High IQ, top of his class, top right. half of his class. The academic scholarship was financial aid. Right. Oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> and 76 out of 85. In his law school class. I don't know. I'm not great at math, but that's definitely not the top 50 percentile. I think it's the bottom 10 percent, maybe bottom 15. By the way, he said full academic scholarship. You're right. It was a half financial aid, yep. okay. which is a lot different than an academic scholarship. Let's add this to his educational experience. He said, I was a runner up at the state scoring championship in football. Don't laugh, man. Uh, <laughs> Did he, he got, say don't laugh, man? Yeah, yeah. There you go. He was fifth in his conference. <laughs> fifth in his conference? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. That's like when I claim to be an all-conference wide receiver. I think I was actually, by the way, Will, look that up. You were all-conference all wide receiver? All-conference wide receiver. Not fifth in your conference. Well, I was probably the 15th best receiver in my conference, but I was still <laughs> all-conference. Let's go to some Come more on. Joe Biden's experiences. Um, he uh, not only is uh, the smartest guy you've ever met, but he's worked a blue-collar experience during his Everything. Irish, Puerto Rican, uh, Greek you upbringing. You said it, Will. He's Forrest Gump. Besides, I used to drive an 18-wheeler. About 1.30, container ship struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which I've been over many, many times commuting from the state of Delaware to our trainer by car. I had the great honor of being arrested with our U.N. ambassador on the streets of Soweto. <laughs> Okay, let's go through okay, these. He this is, is Forrest great. Gump. This is great because the White House had to come out and say, officially confirm that Biden never well, drove they, they an 18-wheeler. They couldn't confirm. No, no, no. Ever they, they, con- they confirmed that he didn't. Drive an 18-wheeler. Never drove an 18-wheeler. I think he sat in a semi-truck cab once. That he drove a school bus a couple of times. And he once, according to once spent a night riding in a cargo truck, but he was not driving it. So you spend one night and now you're an 18-wheel driver. He says he took the train many times or the tr- car over the Francis Scott Key Bridge. It doesn't have train tracks. Well, he's Amtrak Joe. He, he should know, right? It doesn't have any train tracks. He says he was arrested in Soweto. You know, this is in South Africa. There's no record of that. By the way, he said he was also arrested, as we pointed out, at the, during the Civil Rights Movement. No record of that as well. <laughs> so. <laughs> so all of that should lead you to wanting this. Where's the video? Four more years. Pause. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. Pause. Hey, yeah. We almost need the four more years just to see where the resume goes. <laughs> oh, imagine where it could go. Right. Uh, imagine the possibilities. Amazing. <sighs> There's Joe Biden's fictional resume.